Hey guys, it's Kansas Pitts from Kansas Pitts Photography and Design and I am getting ready to finally release the cloud brush set that I have been alluding to for quite some time now. Um, it's taken me a little while because I'm using real cloud so that they all have their correct shading and there's a lot of depth to them so they're not just like hand drawn uh, clouds that don't aren't really found in nature. Um, so anyways, it took me a little while. There's 137 different clouds. There's a star brush, there is a firefly blood brush, and there's also a fog brush. So I'm gonna give you a quick sample. Um, I haven't really done a lot of before and afters yet because I've been testing them so much <laughs> um, just to make sure their functionality works and all that kind of stuff because I know they're gonna be awesome for everybody. And I'm kind of tired of waiting to release them. So I'm probably going to be releasing them today. And so you'll be seeing this. So I just went down here and I picked whatever brush that I wanted to use and I picked um, a, a color from the sky just to match it and then I ran place my clouds and now I'm gonna put them in and listen you can use different clouds um, in the same image you can use different opacities different flows different colors to kind of give you the look that you want I just kind of wanted to give you all a quick um, tutorial here and so I just ran that and that is looking beautiful. I love that. And you can try different blending modes too. They might be different for different. I put a little cheat sheet in um, with your download that kind of says if you're using dark clouds on light skies, this is the blending mode you might want to try and different things like that. And you can obviously change the opacity. Um, and you can continue to paint on. You don't have to just do one color and one cloud. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um, the wispy ones down here are probably some of my favorite ones. Um, I really like those. Um, so you can just keep adding in and do whatever, do whatever you want to do. Um, they're really pretty. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, this is what I was experimenting on earlier. I mean, I think I clicked like five times and then I blurred them and then that was it. Um, same thing with this one. I mean, I literally just clicked and went with it. Um, I'll show you these real quick to the fog brush. So you're just going to go to place my fog <clears throat> and then I'll probably just use that orangey color. The color doesn't matter as much as, um, you know, you kind of want it to match your scene, but it's not that big of a deal. It's going to blur it a lot. So anyways, we just ran one action and then we got our fog there, which is super cool. Um, fireflies. So you'll just go to place my fireflies. And the action actually goes ahead and brings up the firefly brush. So you don't even have to go up to your brushes. The actions kind of do it for you. Um, and I had this on lighten, but you could change it to hard light and sometimes overlay to give you maybe a little bit more of what you're wanting. And you can change the opacity of your layer as always to give you just what you want. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. These are all the clouds. That's the star brush. There's the firefly brush and here is the fog one and the rest of these are true to life clouds in fact if you want me to I will <clears throat> let's see if we can pull up something and I'll kind of show you some of them so I'll just get a blue sky just because I mean like these are clouds and then we'll reset this and go to white and I'll show you some of the clouds here <clears throat> put my opacity up so you guys can see it um, Let's see. So there's a few of them that we may have to do this. There's a few of them that are kind of just for the top. So I love that one. Um, there's a couple other ones that are like that that are just for the top right here. Boom. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. There's actually a couple that are really big and they will almost cover your whole sky if that's what you want to do. I don't know where it is, but I'll show you some of the other ones. So some of the wispy ones are super fun. See how that one, I mean, that's awesome. That's just going to give you just a little bit of hint of color in your sky, which is perfect and just give you a little bit of interest, right? <clears throat> There's that one. And I try to make these really big so that you can make them smaller or bigger or cover your entire uh, <clears throat> sky if you want to or not, you know? But these are so easy and you can do so much with them if with, when you're changing colors with them. If you're blurring them or not blurring them, you can, like I said, adjust your opacity, adjust your flow. Um, they're just super fun. 
So anyways, I'm very excited about these and <clears throat> as with my other sky things, you'll be able to join the sky group and there'll be tutorials in there as well um, and I'll be able to answer your questions and stuff in there as well. So anyways, thanks guys. I appreciate it.